Okay, welcome to video 23. All right, we're going to break this down a little bit here. Now first, I mean, is everybody under the assumption that this is an actual real serpent? And that this is an actual real tree? And that this is an actual real piece of fruit that was being offered and that the serpent is actually talking? I hope not. Because if you are under that assumption, then there's no reason further to view any more of my videos. There is still a distance between you and this truth that we're not going to be able to bridge here today. But for any of you who can see through this symbology and understand that that is obviously not the case for many reasons, not just the ones that I present here to you. So for those of you who do understand, let's break this down. We've got the serpent one is the one who is trying to coerce Eve into doing something. That coercion is to get her to accept this fruit. Now you see here that the serpent is subtle, which means he's very cunning. He's very cunning, okay? So we get the understanding here that there's a an order or a decree that's set which forbids Eve to partake of this fruit but then the serpent says God doesn't want you to do this because in that day that you eat then your eyes shall be surely opened and then ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil now that right there is the exact same lie that these aliens are perpetuating, promoting, proclaiming that exact same lie. You know, for anybody who cannot see that absolute connection, it's the same thing. View some of these videos about the GFL, the Andromedans, and the Arcturians. They're saying the exact same thing. They're saying that we are gods. That all we have to do is raise our, our vibration and then the whole world is just going to be perfect and hunky-dory. It's the same lie. Okay, so this fruit, though, I told you has two separate meanings. Now, let's get back to the meaning because this is the meaning itself of this knowledge of heaven, which I revealed to you in the symbol. But I told you it has a second meaning, which is the introduction of the seed of Nod. And we're going to look at that a little closer because that's really what this fruit symbol also ties up as. Because you have to look at the wording here and it says, And when the woman saw the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes. Now remember, these Nodites, these fallen sons of God are beautiful. They are physically, immaculately beautiful specimens. They're highly intelligent to, and a tree to be desired to make one wise. And this is the whole reason why Eve is the first one being targeted in this situation because this situation of target has nothing to do with Adam. Adam can't bear the seed. Adam can't bear the seed. So when it says the eyes of them were both open, that's talking about that knowledge of heaven. But in this instance, we are talking exclusively this seed that Eve is about to accept. Now, let's look a little further here. And this is the second Adamic covenant. This is just on the other side, next to the page I just read. It's going to be chapter 3, verse 14. Or let's go straight to, to 15 here, because this is more symbology that they added to make it look like it was a serpent. All right, here we go. It says, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Did you hear that? Between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. I'm coming back to break that one down. Thank you.